are a battle causing all kinds of problems in Volusia County tonight. Its impact spreading to roads, businesses, and even a major construction project. West 2's Chris Hush joining us live in Port Orange. And Chris, the flames crept near traffic at one point. Right, but we can tell you tonight that the fire is very well contained and the smoke has dissipated a lot since I last spoke to you at 6 o'clock uh, this evening. But you'll also notice here that Madeline Avenue is still shut down as a precaution. And where the fire started is the same spot surrounded by controversy as a developer looks to build a Walmart here, something many residents have been against. And as we found out tonight, some plans have been pushed back because of this fire. Yeah, I mean, this is crazy. I've never really seen this much smoke before. Up to 25 acres of land burned for hours. You can see it all the way from um, Beachside, all the way near New Smyrna. Smoke and embers rose into the air and reduced visibility down on the streets. You give it two minutes and you won't see the intersection at all, and then two minutes after that, it'll be clear. Well, my eyes were still pretty, you know, irritated from it, and, you know, you just smell it. It's getting all over my car, all over my clothes. And the smoke was so thick, police shut down Madeline Avenue, cutting off customers from dozens of businesses in Port Orange. It's been a little slower, you know, it's not a, like a normal day, um, a lot less traffic than we're normally used to. Ironically, almost 20 acres of this now scorched land is being eyed by Gatlin Development Company, where it wants to put a Walmart. The city council was expected to make a vote on Tuesday that could have greenlighted the project. It's a controversial plan among residents who showed up to Tuesday night's meeting, ready to fire off their disapproval of the plans, but instead, the brush fire could force developers to make new ones. Part of that de development plan um, took into account a lot of existing trees, uh, natural trees, buffers. We wanted to assess the damage mm -hmm. and figure out exactly what needs to change on the development plan. Any signs of anything being suspicious? Right now, we're not sure. Investigators are now looking into the cause of a small brush fire that started here on Monday night and turned into the biggest fire Port Orange has seen so far. This year. And tonight you'll also notice that there have been some flare ups uh, right behind us. Actually, there was a flare up not too long ago, uh, and that is something that fire crews have been dealing with throughout the night. They say that this area will be smoky for several days, even after the fire is completely out. The chief also adds that in the past they've had issues with fires uh, here uh, because of squatters and kids uh, in this area. But again, this is still under investigation as far as the calls. And as far as the city voting on those Walmart plans, well, that has now been pushed back all the way to May. For now, we're live in Port Orange. Chris Hush, West 2 News on CW18.